Hello and welcome to the DFS underscore PhD show for today on the 29th of March. Remember, you're good enough, you're strong enough, and gosh darn it, someone's got to win that money. Uh, not doing MLB shows yet, but congrats. Hey, nice. Just seeing this one. Uh, I saw dude, uh, where was this? Glee with an awesome finish. This was fourth out of 116,000. Actually, let me think. I have to check if that, oh, I'm not sure what the qualifiers are for Shark Chat. But anyway, Shark Chat's a fun spot. You have to have a thousand to one kind of win. This might qualify. Yeah, well, yeah, I'll do math on it later. But, uh, you know, we've got enough 150 maxers where a lot of people get in there. And what do you talk about? Who knows? I get, I'm, I have yet to to chum the waters of Shark Chat. Uh, don't look, we can't talk about basketball. I was at the UNC game. I'm a UNC fan. I am feeling pain. Um, so yeah, let's talk about, oh yeah, uh, check out our MMA channel. As always, All-Star DFS does some good stuff. So check that video out as well. I've enjoyed his breakdowns. So for today's slate, we got some questionable guys. We got some midday downgrade. As always, I always say this one thing again and again. These are journalists at these things. So it's a materially different description when they say Cade Cunningham, Jaden Ivey, present at shoot-around, compared to Donovan Mitchell, parentheses knows, participating in shoot-around. Participating, we all know what that means. Oh, shooting up some balls. He's getting ready to play basketball again. He got hit in the face or whatever. He's feeling better now, I guess. You know, if you get the tweet, if you get the let him know tweet today, you better project Donovan Mitchell for full minutes today because I don't know what you think Donovan Mitchell has been keeping ready to play basketball. Come on, man. Like Donovan Mitchell's probably still been, I don't know, scrimmaging at his house two hours a night or whatever to get in his thousand points. And get, he's he's a crazy person. He's incredibly good at basketball. So I'm definitely, I saw 0.01% uh, uh, Donovan Mitchell. That's why I've yammered so much about him already. That's insane. If you guys are really not owning him at all, Thanks. I'll take like 10 or 15% thought of a Mitchell and the edge. Uh, but anyway, so Cade Cunningham and Jaden Ivey present at shoot around. If they don't play, and I just saw after that, like later than that. So also we got uh, Markel Fultz with a midday downgrade for uh, for injury maintenance. So what do you guys think? You get the midday downgrade for injury maintenance. Are you in? I have a guess. I have a guess that you are not in if you get the midday downgrade for injury maintenance. So Anyway, we, we can, uh, uh, Marcus Sasser was the other guy who I just saw come across as I was preparing this, now questionable with an illness. So what? All three Detroit guards. So, I mean, all right, let's just dig into that. There's not very much else questionable on the slate. Um, you got Aiden. Aiden's not really been playing through this, and Aiden, if he plays, he's a great value. If he doesn't play, Reith is a great value. So either way, that's going to be a fun, uh, a fun decision because I think it's standalone, right? No, no, that's six o'clock. Okay, so that's one of the late options. And then you have Minnesota where you think it's like Ant-Man has a new, his back spasms. So back spasms are like not, they're serious, man. If you got a new case of them and you're, you know, you sleep wrong. Like well, I had one day on vacation where I slept wrong on a pillow and all day I was like cramping up under my, under my shoulder blade. You know what I mean? So we'll see how I woke up today. Hopefully they're gone. I mean, because when they're gone, they're gone. This is not a problem anymore at all. So we'll see, you know, what the report is, but you won't know that until the very last game of the day. He's overpriced. Anthony Edwards, 9,600, you know, I mean, he could, he's a great play if he plays. Mostly if he sits, we need to know, like, because the backups are better. Uh, but anyway, so Gobert probably playing through his injury. I think we project him in. But yeah, so let's talk about the Detroit situation. Yammer, yammer, yammer about uh, questionable guys right away. Very exciting. I know that's what we all come here for. No, so we... uh Detroit situation or no. So first my broad takes, my broad takes are yeah, actually Detroit situation is part of it. So this Detroit Washington game is two chomp teams. These are bad teams. Neither one of these teams, their, their main guys are getting full minutes. Normally, normally these guys are sitting after like three quarters because they're being so, so badly smashed. But in this game, Detroit, Washington, Denny's going to get full minutes. Coos is going to get full minutes. Cool. It's going to get these gross full minutes that still could maybe triple double now. I mean, Am I going to have that much of him? Probably not. But anyway, so let me get this Detroit situation nailed down and then I'll click the button because I see I haven't even com compiled the game uh, yet. But I think Cade is like, if you have all three guys out, let's go over to court IQ. OK, 
Because honestly, I'm pretty sure this will be the first full game all year we have Detroit with all these guys out. Now watch them all be in and that completely not be what the slate is about. But I tried to wait till after shoot around. This is like the best time of day to make this video. And I feel like it's the most relevant for the most long. And like, also, I enjoy the practice of building for slates at this point because you have enough news where like, even though it's not maybe what the real slate is about, I feel like you gain something by going through the exercise of during this hypothetical slate, what was the optimal? Just make sure you undo all of those takes for the actual slate. Uh, okay, so guys who I was saying are out. I think Sasser downgrades bad. I think Ivy. So obviously if Ivy or Cade is in, they smash. They are a smash play. You smash them. But if they're out, that's what I want to figure out. Like who even, who, Buddy Bayheim, I guess? Like who gets the minutes like in this? Because it won't even be full games, I'm assuming. Yeah, I, do I click, I had clicked full games. Yeah, so I have to unclick full games. So this will be the first time we're missing all three of these guys because this is every point guard that's ever played this season for this team. Alec Burks. Okay, so that's, he's on he's on New York. So his status for this slate is important, but not for Detroit. He's, he's like, if he plays, it's like less certain that Miles McBride will play 48 minutes, which is, he could. I mean, like, Josh Hart could. I mean, like, I love Tibbs. I love Tibbs. It's so fun for fantasy purposes. It's fun because he's like, yeah, they're they're rested. They should go. Kind of makes sense that for like basketball purposes. They're smashing. It's fun. Anyway, so, but I don't know what's going on with that team. Do not, do not. Uh, it's an important piece of news, but uh, Alec Burks is not on this team. So who's the other piece? Who, who is it? Kill Killian Hayes is not on this team. I don't. All right, let's look at their current roster. What, what's even happening with this team? They don't uh, Malachi Flynn. All right. Uh, Malachi Flynn's Flynn, absolute mega, mega smash. So Malachi Flynn, full core, 1000%. Do not do anything besides click Mal Malachi Flynn if all those guys get ruled out, right? I mean, like, wh who who else? Evan Fournier point guard minutes? Gross. I, I, maybe like Buddy. Ah, I keep saying Buddy Beheim point guard minutes. I just no right it's the nba i mean i'm pretty sure we could shut him down in like rec league you know like if it, that's my that's my gauge for if somebody could be an nba uh, player or not is whether or not i feel like i could personally shut them down if there's any chance of that they should not be a good nba player i'm not that i'm, I'm pretty egotistical but not that egotistical so it's a good measure okay so troy i just i can't see troy brown i, I point metu i mean right I, is that I, I cannot lose money on Metu again, so I'm not going to actually put money on point Metu. However, I, so, who do you do? That's like one guy, two guy, three guy, four guy, five guy, six guy, seven guy. So that's seven guys if they if these guys are all out. So Buddy Beheim has to play to be an eighth guy, Roden, right? So okay, that's it. That's the deal. Is he is he getting minutes? Like is he can is he on the team? Roden stats. Yeah, he's creeping in. Oh boy. Oh boy, this could be a smash, guys. We just got 25 minutes of Jared Roden. And if like everybody gets ruled out again, he, he's uh he's not traditionally getting zero usage. I thought he had been a pretty good option. And well, I don't know. These are not these are not amazing. Uh I kind of want him to get the uh how many minutes do I have to have out of Jared Roden? It's kind of a lot. Anyway, I'm I it I think. Is this an early game? Oh, early game. Well, anyway, so obviously if one of these guys starts, they're going to become massively owned. If one of them is expected to start and doesn't start, they're going to be over-owned. These are the real plays, right? It's not really about who's good or bad or whatever. It's like, you know, we have the Lonnie thing. When Lonnie was benched, even though I saw all the Sharks were still on him, I think when a guy who is expected to start for Cam gets bent, is not starting, it, it's, not, it's not, not a signal. You know what I mean? Just like... My whole rant about how Jonte being sick the day, like getting poked in the eye on Monday is a carryover risk for Friday. Like I, I don't love it that the main uh, evidence against him is that he has cost sports books money, money. Like that's what we're doing. We want him, we want them to lose money and for them not to, to point FBI fingers at us guys. Like I don't want them to make up laws and be like, Oh yeah, you know, the tail picks. Like I, I saw a lot of people with those, that take, I'm like, Oh, I don't, is that, are we not supposed to be giving out picks? I mean, I knew I'm not supposed to be giving out full lineups or whatever for ter terms of service, but come on, man, like a few picks, what? That's like how an entire generation younger than me communicates is in these weird picks. Boy is Bo Boyan's not on this team either, is he? Boyan, sorry, okay, bouncing all over the place. 
Boyan is not on this team anymore. He's on another team, also playable today, but not for the same. Okay, I've got to stop looking at this this game. Let me just click the button just to see what gives Saberson a thought. I like Saberson to be part of my tape, my uh, table of dudes, council of dudes. All right, twenty five. Um, I like they've been doing moderate now, so I'm not going to. Well, but it is a one fifty. It's one fifty max. Okay, I like it. The the um, correlation being at three these days. I'm leaving it there. That's fine. I think uh, min salary 49.8. Give it a little wiggle room. Okay. And now let's see what Sabersim comes up with. I'll tell you about any other weird things I did earlier for other games. Oh, yeah. I extended the Knicks. I mean, like, you can't you can't expect Sabersim to, like, put the Knicks at their proper numbers. It's just absurd. that The possibility. Same thing with Dallin Banton. Like, uh, you have to give this kid respect for the usage that he's, like, legitimate. He knows how to be a point guard in the NBA. Like, I mean... <laughs> Off the bench, you know, that's, that's something. I mean, I always make a joke like when I'm when I'm working hard on the perimeter, getting steals and like uh, running up the court, hitting threes, that I'm working on my backup point guard, you know, my backup point guard minutes. You know, he's he's killing those minutes, man. I mean, those are legitimate minutes. Somebody's got to play the backup point guard minutes. And Dalano Ben's playing those backup point guard minutes really well. Uh, up at the top, I also made a change because like disrespectful projection for Jokic relative to everybody else. Jokic is like, got a higher median and if you don't if you're not projecting him that way you're going to lose money to me uh kuzma so all these guys like that was part of my rant earlier i don't know if i finished it for the washington side but because this is going to be a close game and like not normally close games for these guys you need to extend the main guys for washington yeah and i mean like if all these guys are missing <sighs> i'm locking malachi i probably pretty close to lock, locking malachi malachi flint let me see if I can do four min uniques and still have a reasonable ex exposure maximum to all these guys. Because there's just a lot of good plays in this game, and I want to have a ton of it. No, I don't like how little of some of these. Mm, okay, that's fine. Okay, so let's look across all games now. Miles McBride, absolutely. Wow, really? We're going to go 16% Miles McBride, and you guys don't think he, you don't think he's going to get like 48 minutes maybe? If this game stays close and the line is nine, okay, granted, they could win by 20. In that case, they scored 120 points in like three quarters. Anyway, he's going to score. It's a tough, tough ask for me after seeing the way they're playing right now, not to play Miles McBride in massive amounts today. Now, I don't, I don't love it. I mean, like, it's all at the whims of Coach Tibbs. Was that yesterday? By the way, let me look at um, McBride stats. I never want one of these guys in like a back to back on these crazy teams. Okay, it's it. They've had a they've had a day's rest, so we can expect them to come out again and play a crazy number. Like, and let's do see that McBride stats. What was his? Because uh, I know it's been some blowouts. 43, 48. He he played consecutive. Yeah, forty eight is in his range of outcomes, and generally they're project like the the field is only projecting him for like 42, 41. Right. So I mean, like that's edge. I mean. <laughs> Seven minutes, man. That's a lot of minutes, and it's ridiculous that it's out. It's an outcome, but it is. And so, whatever percent you think the the Knicks play competitive game today, forty percent, I'm I'm having them in there. And you, that's the way it, I feel about for like basically all of those guys. So did I did I do that for uh Josh Hart? Because Josh Hart triple double watch is a legit thing every single night, and you got to make sure you're projecting it right. Yeah, he's just getting expensive now, right? Seven seven plus oh eight ish, right? Seventy eight, yeah. The eight K Josh Hart is a is a dart throw. Um, even even with the possibility of a, a kind of minuscule triple double. Now on San Antonio side, I think we're projecting Wemby in. I don't know. I, I get the feeling they're kind of me, not not doing that much anymore. I, this whatever man. I, I... <laughs> excuse me. I may get into a bit, but nothing serious. Yeah, do I have any other? I don't think I've. Oh, yeah, let me take it. Uh, see what the ownerships are. See if I got any questionable chalk. Aaron Wiggins. I mean, okay. So Aaron Wiggins and Isaiah Joe, I get these guys being fine, but you got to have a shooter's amount of them 15%, 30% of these guys who are like, I mean, Isaiah Joe, granted, like, bow down to him for that amazing dunk on old man Jeff Green. That was, I, I didn't see it coming. One of the coolest, unexpectedest highlights of the year. But, but, I don't need that much. I don't need that much of him. Aaron Wiggins, like if they miss shots, tough. I get it. I get where we're taking them. There's like a guy missing. Yeah, sure. Okay. In the rotation, that's good. If you get guys missing, you should play them. But this is the established guy missing. You really want to think about the guy who's missing, who's 
later in the day. That's the more important guy. But yeah, all these other guys, Banton, people a little bit chasing. I'm chasing. His performance has been incredible. Watford, I looked up point per minute and minutes, and I expect a few more minutes for him. So even though he is chalk, I don't think it's questionable. Again, though, we do have coach coach whims. You're at the coach's whim there. I don't love being at the coach's whim any day. So that's your downside argument for him. Uh, oh, SGA, is that that's who's missing. Let me just say a guy missing, a guy missing for OKC. That, that might need a little bit more attention. Yeah, this is not right. So let's let's go ahead and uh, dig in here. A guy missing. Yeah, they're projecting it like one guy is missing, not like Shea Gilgis Alexander is missing, who is much more than a guy. You need to change usage rates significantly. So I do not see a significant enough change in these usage rates. So I'm going to go dig in and pop this over in the Discord as well. Once I get the SGA off. How many games has he even missed? It's not that many. Now let's make sure he's actually out, out. You're doubtful. Okay. As long as we've got some, if we see an upgrade, obviously you don't go there. I'll put this in new content. Let me go over to court IQ. He's missed one game. So we got the one, we got the one game. Uh, so obviously it's tough to project from that. Let's go. I don't want to do just the full game, one game. That's not enough of a sample size. Let's do it for all minutes that he's been off the court, the season rates. Cause then we've got some amount. that's like a reasonable amount. It's like we're Jamin Dort and uh, Jalen Williams. Yep, no surprises here, but we do need to up a lot of these rates. These are just unacceptable rates. In Sabersim, no offense, Sabersim, I love you, and I appreciate all of the money. That allows me to still just be like, okay, I don't care about that, about every single one of these painful, painful slates. Okay, so... Uh, yes, there will be another one tonight. Do not be under any... Um, guess that it will be otherwise. It is absolutely going to be another painful night of NBA today. This it, It's going to get that way to the end of the season. And honestly, absolutely my favorite time of year. It's either you don't like it or you do like it. And for me, love it. Absolutely love it. Um, ridiculous news every night. Ridiculous stuff happening. Like a crazy triple doubles. This chat prediction, what in the world are we doing? No, absolutely not. Like with what? Okay. We got to go through every single guy on this team. This is absurd. Absurd, absurd, 39. Everybody's under projected by like six. So anyway, I might need to be taking some parlays because I know they're going to be, they're going to be like matching something. This is coming from player props or something else. This is not just Saberson. I'm not calling them like, out. oh my God, Saberson. I'm just saying like, this is indicative of an underlying market inefficiency. Somebody is making mistakes. Luke Ensdor, what are we, what, what? I mean, 29 minutes. Really? I think he's going to get a few more. But anyway, in 29 minutes, we should be giving him 26 points, 24 points, so, know, 25 points at least. I mean, you got to have some Lugans Dort. Uh, you got to have some, you don't have to. Yeah, okay. So I, I made my argument about why you got to limit your, your uh, Isaiah Joe. All your shooters should be limited as shooters. That kind of includes Josh. Yeah, no. Giddy and Jalen Williams. Jalen Williams can be a core ish play with, with, uh, what, what even? Yeah. Because how many minutes? 34? Oh, yeah. We're kind of assuming a blowout. That is the concern, isn't it? I mean, well, no. The, the line is nothing? What? How is the line nothing? I think that's disrespectful to SGA. The, the line be nothing in this game. And I think I, Phoenix should be massive favorites, right? And well, why would Phoenix not be massive, massive favorites here? But, um, okay. What I don't know what to do with that. OKC being just wildly underprojected, but not not dogs. But okay, completely un, unclear how to respond to that. For now, I'm just going to jam um, chat. I mean, that's thing number one. I guess they have a bad game. They get in foul trouble. I, I, what what am I worried about? Chet. I mean, he's okay. He's had a couple a few bad games. He's looking bad. I don't know. Probably something like that. Uh, let me limit him a little bit to thirty. I don't know, but just. Opportunity-wise, every night is an opportunity for Chet to turn that narrative around. So I want to be there that night. That dude has an upside, especially like I don't, I'm not challenged by Nurkic for him. If it's Eubanks, he's going to eat. Anyway, so I, I'm I'm pro that move. So yeah, uh, Malachi Flynn, assuming that everybody's out for Detroit based on Scuttlebutt. Honestly, even if uh, he's a little bit overpriced, 
And that's why you get him at such low ownership. But, okay, so what should I say? What What's his probability of failure? 50-50? So he's core-ish, but I mean, like, I don't want to have 100% exposure to Malachi Flynn. I mean, if he starts, maybe, but, you know, still, eh, not 100%. These other guys, Kuz, Denny, these are the guys who I'm absolutely confident in today. I don't understand why. What, what 15%? You guys are nuts. Anyway, fully core for me. Um, basically, everybody in this game probably. Uh, Poole, I, I should limit limit him as a shooter. Just like, but he, he's been at the point pretty good. Uh, you know, I'm not going to limit him just because of his performance of passing the ball. Watford, 25%. Yeah. Everybody else is good on this list. Uh, leverage plays. Anybody else? Oh, yeah. Did I want to mock any other chalk? So this leverage is all fine, and it all gets pretty small there, so I don't want to say uh, any other chalk to mock. Yeah, Corey Kispert uh, is in that game, but he still has to hit all of his shots. And if he doesn't hit all of his shots, he's not going to hit. So yeah, he's gotten some rebounds and whatever, but Detroit is big. I don't think those rebounds are there. So I'm fine with that fade. Any other like super negatives here? Negative 12 on Anthony Davis. He, he's fine. It's just that, uh, yeah. I'm not, that's not a strong fade. Might go either way on that. Clay, yeah. Fine with being under the field on Clay, who's been doing fine, but I mean, still has to hit shots. It's the common theme. If he's got, if a guy has to hit shots and the field's on him, I'm off him. If a guy has to hit shots, but could hit shots and the field's off him, you, you get it. That's how I play every night. And that's why every night I'm like, man, oh, why didn't this guy hit his shots? Probably. All right, remember, you're good enough, you're strong enough. And gosh darn it, someone's got to win that money. Might as well be 